Alright, so welcome to today's video where uh, I'm gonna show you how you can schedule posts on school and the reason why I'm making this video is because there have been a lot of community members asking for this feature but to my knowledge the owner Sam Owens isn't planning to implement it anytime soon and that's why I decided to create my own automation to uh, save a lot of time for these community members or for these owners of these communities that uh, want this feature to be implemented and uh, without any further ado let me show how you can implement it yourself all right so as you can see here there's been a huge demand for this feature in the last months even years and i'm taking up this opportunity to save some of the members time and decided to create my automation using this tool called axiom.ai you don't need to have any knowledge of this tool i'm going to explain to you every single step required for you to implement this feature and start uh, scheduling posts, all right? So, first things first, you need to download the Chrome extension. Now, the next step will be to go to the description of this video and download the uh, resource file that's the automation that you're gonna implement here, or uh, rather import. So, when you're in this tool here, you need to create an account, and then import automation, and select file, you select the file, of the automation that uh, I've shared with you and now uh, we are here okay what you need to do at this point is uh, go to the description again and uh, cl click on the sheet and make a copy of that sheet okay now there are a couple of things we need to do here the first thing is to import our categories all right so go to our community and check the categories all right so you should if you want to post on all the categories import all the categories here into the sheet all right so for me for example let's just use an example so i will go introduction and wins right so category you edit it here and in make sure you are typing it introduction the same as it's uh, on the school so that it works okay now uh once you are done, you just cl click apply to all. all. Right in our instance, we're just going to apply to this one since we're just going to have one example. Then you import the title of the automation. So let's say title here and the body of it message here. Okay, so we select the category, introduction, and there's also an option that you can send this as an email to all the members. All right, if you check it. Now, there's also another thing where you need to uh, Im uh, import here your email and school password and the community link as well. So, first thing is to import your school community link like this. Now, the email here and the password, all right? So, this is for the scheduling purposes because what the automation is going to have to do, it's going to run in cloud, all right? It's not going to run on your computer. That means it's going to uh, access it from a different session and it needs to have somewhere your login details when it's going to be scheduled. In our case, I'm just going to show you to how it works when you run the automation, how the whole automation works. And then uh, in that case, we would not need this. But if you're planning to schedule this, as you probably are, then uh, make sure to insert your email and password here. By the way, make a copy out of this document, okay? You will not be able to edit it. So make a copy and nobody else will see your password, okay? This is just your document. Nobody else will be able to access it. Now, once we done, once we have done all of these steps, now we need to go back to automation and select here the read data from Google Sheets. As you can see here, schedule post on school, all right? So what do you need to do here? Select the sheet and then in this case, on the first one, you need to select post sheet, okay? So this is this is post sheet and this is detail sheet, okay? There are differences in those. Now on the second one, on the second step, we need to do the same thing, except we need to click here on the details, all right? Now, it's all you do, the same thing here. On the 12th step, you just click schedule post on school, the uh, name of that sheet, and click on post. Now, we just need to make sure that we uh, have everything uh, set it up correctly. So let me just go through it with you. So if you encounter any error, you make sure that you have it same as I. So this step is correct. This is a button. Okay, so this uh, step here actually needs to be different. So this is what I mean here, right? When you are going to be importing these things, 
you need to adjust it a little bit. So in this case, what you need to do is 3.3, enter text, you just need to insert data and click on Google Sheets data one, okay? And then you click your email, say, well, this is gonna be the email and you do the same thing here when you delete it and Google Sheets data one, you uh, click here on the B column, which will be your password, okay? Save it. We continue and we continue to here. This one is all right, but just to make sure, you can click here, uh, insert Google Sheets data one, clear all and just make sure you are selecting this one. This is your community page, right? Now this one is good. And uh, then here, okay, this is the next step. And like these all steps are correct, but just to make sure that any of you might need this in the future, just to make sure, insert data, Google Sheets data. This is from the uh, post sheet, clear all title here, okay? And the uh, same thing is gonna be applied here, okay? We will not go through this at this point. Let's just check this, Google Sheets data, all three, yes. Now, we are ready to go. So, we just click here, save. And in our case, let's just leave it like this, run. I'm gonna run it in desktop. I will show you then later on how to schedule this. So right now, just gonna show you how this will uh, run, how this will work so that you can get a sense out of it. So right now it's gonna try to log in into school, but in our case, it's already logged in, so it doesn't really need that information. But as I said, if you are gonna try to schedule it, it will need that information in some cases, all right? Now, what it will do here is click more, if you have like more, uh, categories and then click on the one that we selected in our case it was introduction then it just types the title and types the message and clicks post all right now you're published so this is the automation now it just deletes that uh, row and you are ready to uh, the next day it will publish the next one on the uh, on the line so as you can see here deleted the row so if you have like multiple uh, posts selected here each day it would just delete that post that uh, was supposed to be scheduled that day, right? Now, how do we schedule this? Okay, so this is the point where you actually need to pay for this. So this tool is free for users, but if you want to schedule, if you want to use the schedule feature, you need to buy this $50 a month automation. And this is where I'm gonna ask you a question, all right? So there is a possibility where I can turn this into uh, some sort of SaaS where you would have like a really good user interface and just make it like, I don't know, like high pure tweet hunter you have on Twitter or other platforms. And I could cut down the cost all the way to like 10 or 20 hours at maximum, right? And there would be like plenty of more features like this. Basically anything you would need on uh, scheduling posts on school, but right now I don't have that uh, idea validated yet. That's why I decided to make this video on YouTube, see if it gets views and if people are interested in uh, this sort of SaaS. I would also be documenting the whole journey because I'll be making that SaaS only using no-code tools. So let me know in the comments right now if uh, you'd be interested in uh, this tool and if I should make it because it would save you probably like 40 to 30 dollars a month minimum and uh, yeah just let me know if I should uh, make one of those now in order to use this specific tool you would need to uh, pay for this 50 dollars a month subscription and then once we are here once we would uh, pay for that then this would open up for you right so when we are here with the automation we can click here on the three dots click on settings and uh, this is where we can click on schedule okay we click on and the only thing we just need to set uh, the automation will start running okay this is the first start of the automation where it's gonna run and then we just need to set the time all right so let's just set it to make sure we are at p.m. so six eight okay so uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate it to you how it works so right now we've set the automation and from this point on it's gonna run daily okay it's going to run daily and uh, without stopping. Later on, if you have uh, Zapier, you can uh, just schedule like certain amount of uh, times you can play around with this. But for this specific feature, let's just keep it daily. And this is how you would do it. OK, now you would see here schedule axioms is where you would see uh, the 
actions that are being scheduled and that are gonna run the next day, all right? So well, this is basically it for this tutorial. So I've shown you just a quick recap. First thing to download Axiom, import the automation, then uh, click here, make copy auto sheets. Schedule posts here, import the details here, and uh, so import categories as well, okay? Apply to all, and uh, make sure if you want to have a SaaS for this, that I could make let me know in the comments so that I have this val uh, idea validated and it actually makes sense and uh, people are wanting that uh, implemented, all right? So this is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.